why? Why did this happen and why did it happen right now? That's the that's an important question. Well, many people say that this may have happened as a way for uh, Donald Trump and Republicans, Mike Pompeo, people who are closer to Israeli lobby as a way to sabotage any chance of a rapprochement between Iran and uh, America. And this is very likely because Trump has very little time left and it seems that they're trying to bait Iran into a war or something. They want to get a reaction from Iran to get Iran uh, to go into fight, and that's actually that's what Iranian officials also claim. Rouhani gave a speech saying that Iran won't fall into a conspiracy, so they seem to think that th there is a co there is a conspiracy or a coordinated plan plan among certain groups to uh, force Iran into a war that would certainly uh, cost Iran a lot. Perhaps, well, not perhaps, almost certainly more than America. But Iran has uh, clearly said, even Iranian generals, I believe, came out and said that we won't be, <clears throat> we won't be reacting right now, we won't be reacting um, impulsively. So that's good news in terms of uh, at least one side is trying to keep the tensions down. Uh, but but uh, well, that's, that was one theory of why, why it may have happened. Another theory is that Trump may be running in 2024 again. Pompeo may be running in 2024 again, and this is a way to demonstrate their loyalty to certain donors, to certain uh, groups, lobby groups like IPEC or Saudi-backed uh, lobby groups. That's another theory. Another theory, which is, is something that is a bit more uh, perhaps conspiracy uh, on the spectrum, is closer to conspiracy theory type thing, but I kind of actually like it, is that um, uh, it's actually is a, is a way to create, it's been, uh, you, these actions will uh, allow Biden administration to have more leverage in negotiations with Iran. So, you know, when, if and when they uh, sit down for negotiations, they would have another uh, thing to trade, basically, you know. So we stop assassinations, what will you do? You know, that type of thing. You know, it's a show of power in a way, or, um, you know, sh show of, uh, you know, uh, extra thing we can do that you might not be able to do. Uh, Iran's response so far has been very calm and they said they're going to wait and they're not, as I mentioned, not response uh, impulsively. Uh, but there are, uh, you know, certain groups within Iran that are advocating for a, a acceleration of the nuclear uh, program. Uh, certain other groups even go further and uh, call for response such as that was followed after Qasem Soleimani's assassination, for, uh, certain missiles were um, uh, were uh, sent, certain missiles were fired, sorry, at American bases in Iraq. Uh, they were warned beforehand, but, you know, a, a more harsh one. But uh, everybody seems to be clear on the fact that the, the response shouldn't be something that, uh, you know, a sleepwalks uh, Iran into a war. Um, interestingly, um, uh, th there also may be uh, other ways that Iran may ret retaliate. They may attack um, uh, Saudi oil fields through their proxies uh, or directly perhaps. Uh, but again, as, the, as of right now, it seems that Iran is not going to respond because they clearly see that uh, it's, it's a plan for, uh, to get them into a fight. Um, so I personally doubt that there's going to be a major response in the coming weeks. The response may come in a few months after, after Biden's inauguration and um, you know coming into office. Uh, hopefully we'll talk about this uh, situation more and get into the more details, but this was just to you know give you a basic overview. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and you know uh, check out our other videos. We cover similar issues like this all the time. Take care.